All right, time for the latest H3 VR update. This is before Rot Wieners comes out next week. Uh, I haven't been recording because uh, a lot of things happening, lots of power outages. We had a earthquake and one of the power stations caught fire, so that's pretty bad. But everything seems to be fixed now, hopefully. Just pray that there is no uh, power outages today while I'm recording. <laughs> and uh, let's check out the new update. Oh, look at this. All right. If you uh, you've seen the devlog with Anton, you know that he uh, added two new weapons for us. Well, one of them is a new weapon. One of them is a uh, uh, what you call it a reskin or not a reskin, but a, a different model entirely. This is the TT thirty three. I think thirty three. Because I always get it confused with the TT thirty. But let me just check here. Oops. Too close to my. Chaperone. TT33. Okay. But yeah, so it's a new model. It looks a lot better than the old one. We can check out the magazine. It's got actual witness, witness holes now. Actually, let me just spawn lock this. Make sure everything is uh, set up there. All right. We got fully functioning witness holes. Can we put these back? No. I'll just throw that away. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Looks better. I like the, uh, what is this, wood grips? Or might be Bakelite. I'm not too sure. Bakelite's like a type of plastic. But uh, let's uh, chamber the round here and let's try it out. A little too high there. Whoa, that is... I am aiming a little... Hold on just a minute. There we go, yeah, because there's, it looks like the, there's a black part. Or like, there's this like dark area in the front. When you're, because I have the Vive and I can't really, I don't have the resolution. But the, the, the sight's a little taller in the front, so you actually have to go down a bit more. Because this is how I would aim it, just, you know. It's all the way up there. Lower it a little bit. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the model. It's really nice. Ooh. Oh, wow. I really like the grips, though. I think this is Bakelite. I'm not sure if it's wood, but... <clears throat> cool. Now you can, uh, you can get two of them. Oh yeah, that is the right one. Get two of them. And uh, reenact GoldenEye. Well, you could do it before, but... Now with these, uh... These sexy new models right here. <laughs> oh. Nope. There we go. Touchpad is, again trash on my controllers. I wanted to release the slide, but instead it read that as uh, drop the magazine. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's clear, clean up the scene, and we get our big boy here, the uh, BFR. Am I, uh, am I correct? Yep, it's the BFR. Shoots uh, 4570 government. It's a single action. Oh, I have lost the round here. Well, I'll spawn another one. It's a... S wait, hold on. Single action. <laughs> semi, semi action. Single action revolver. Uh, oh, man. You know what? I'm going to switch controllers. Now this is my left controller. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, that works. I don't know why uh, this one is it's terrible. So yeah, it's a uh, single action, meaning that uh, you have to cock the hammer every time. Actually, I want to chest. Uh, I want to check something out. Let's just. Oh yeah, it still does that. That's cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one of the problems with the uh, single actions. Well, a lot of the older ones, the newer ones have like safety features and stuff, but. Uh, if you, 
let's just do a full two, three, four, five. I think that's five, right? Yeah, so the one of the problems of the old single action revolvers, there's nothing stopping that hammer from hitting that pin, that firing pin, and detonating the round. So if you hit the uh, hammer hard enough, well, not that hard, but just gently tapping it. But uh, yeah. So single action means you have to cock the hammer every time. You want to fire. Double action means all you have to do is just pull the trigger. So, but and there we go. Let's uh, put five more in there. Oops. Actually, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, cowboy style, right? Uh, one of the chambers is empty, so you only have four rounds now. So you know, empty. That hammer, bam. Out. It's a big boy. Fires a very powerful cartridge. But, uh, as you can see, I have a lot of attachments on the table because this thing accepts rails. Also, one of the funny things about this gun is that it can accept suppressors. So, yeah, stick that there. Let's actually take this off first before I... I want to try adding a rail extend... Uh, uh, barrel extension. Okay, cool. I can also, I think this will work since this is, uh, accepts suppressors. You can put a um, a uh, nozzle brake in the front there. Oh, let me just close that. And uh, let's see how that looks. I don't think there's that much of a difference, but... Yeah, it's a little too bright. Can't really see it. Oh, there we go. Let's go for a darker background there. Ah, that's cool. So yeah, it can also, like I said, accept suppressors, which is, um, I guess, uh, um, if I remember from the devlog, Anton actually looked it up. It actually does work like that, I guess, since since the uh, there's no um, what you call it. Uh, since the uh, the cylinder and the barrel are so close together, so I guess that works in real life. <laughs> the gigantic suppressor on this thing, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Also has a rail on top, so you can stick uh, things that work with rails. You know, you could put a uh, a holographic sight on there if you wanted to. Uh, let me see. Come on, there we go. Uh, or a scope. Whoa, that actually extends pretty far. Well, I think it's just because of this one. It's, yeah. It's not this. And you can put a scope on there if you wanted to. Oh, tactical, huh? Uh, yeah. I guess I'll put a holographic sight on that, too. <laughs> sure, why not? And, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, let me get this uh, double-sided rail axis tilt. That there. I'm gonna stick a laser. Oh wait, I forgot that this scope has um, laser mounts on it. Actually, I'm gonna move this to the back. All right. Stick this laser on there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Can I put a stock on this thing? I can. Make it a carbine. Carbine, whatever you want to call it. Although it's kind of weird with the virtual stock, because now I'm when I move the gun, uh, when I move my head, the gun moves. So yeah, you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's virtual stock. That's okay. And uh, if you're truly crazy enough, you can stick a grenade launcher on the side. Uh, there we go. Um, I don't actually know what happened to the grenade here. I might have cleared the ammunition. Oh well. I'll just spawn another grenade. Yeah, yeah, whatever, this one. This is fine. Stick a grenade there. All right. This is, uh... <laughs> it's a little overkill, but... Let me just try out the, uh... Oh, forgot. Single action. 
Hmm, a little low there, huh? Try one more time. Yep, it's a little low. Since this site is so high, I guess it's not properly calibrated or whatever. Let's try the scope. Let's actually, uh, actually move this farther. Oh, this gun is so large now. <laughs> Keep hitting the walls. Okay. Let's see if I can, uh, find out where the, uh, target is. Oh, is it, uh, hammer is cocked and, oh, you know, that, <laughs> that dot is just, is killing me here. Oh, this is so hard. Oh, I managed to hit it. All right, that's fine. And of course, oh, this does not act like a uh, foregrip anymore. That is uh, strange. Usually the gun would be crazy going all like all over the place, but I can move my hand without. So, uh, oh, I need the uh, laser. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess I didn't need this thing. <laughs> Whatever. I forgot that this, uh, this scope actually has rails on it. And actually, most people don't know that this is also a rail right here. So you can attach stuff to it. So you put a rail there. If you wanted to. <laughs> Alright, so grenade launcher. Good. Let me just get rid of that. It's a little unbalanced with that thing on. Although I could put two of them on either side. Just, you know, I guess you would want the windage there. Elevation and windage and all that. Hey, that's elevation, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't use uh, scopes that much, so. All right, so that is the BFR. I actually um, wanted to try something here before we go to the main meat of this update. Let me see if I can do this. Again, okay. That means I can do this. I can, okay. That also means I can do this. <laughs> Does this thing have rails? Let me just check here. No, no hidden rails. I actually want to see if this thing will accept a rail adapter. Probably, since it's a pistol. No, I don't think so. Nope. That is... Uh, that's okay. Whatever. You know. It's Russian. It doesn't need it. It's perfect as it is. <laughs> Some people will say. I'm, I'm not too familiar with the Russian weapons. Uh, so, I don't know any of that. But a lot of people, you know, they like... They, whoa, that's weird. The slide just locked back automatically, even though there was no magazine. It's October. It's ghost slide. <laughs> it's a haunted slide. Okay. But yeah, you know, some people like the uh, Russian weapons a little too much. So they say that stuff. But, uh... I'll try to... Birdcage flash hider? No, I'm not... I might want to go with this one. Actually... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Nope, I wanted to... No. Nope. Don't roll away from me. Come here. I want this. And then we'll stick one of these babies on there. <laughs> Alright. I need a minute. It's weird. Oh, that might have been from me ejecting the, uh, the revolver manually. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. That's, that's too much. Pistol is perfect. All right, so um, those are the two, I think, new weapons. I actually just want to check something first. Let me... Uh, the shield, yes. Okay, I'll talk about that in a minute. But let me just pause the video here, and we'll go check out the new additions to Rotwiener stuff. Okay, so hopefully that uh, did its thing. I paused the video. Uh, oh, check it out. We got the new banger system here that Anton was talking about. Whoops. Controller just glitched out there. Uh, this is to make improvised explosives. So, oh man, I completely forgot how to do it. 
So this is going to be a learning experience. Uh, but first, before we get to any of that, let me just check out this ballistic shield. Oh yeah, check that out. Got a little window on it. I wonder if the window is actually physical. Oh no, there's a sort of glass kind of uh, texture there, huh? All right. I thought if it was open, that would be like, oh, that'd be pretty bad. Because the old sausages had uh, shields like this that had like an open hole that you could shoot through. But this one looks like it has some reflective glass or something on there. I don't know if you can see that. But that that is a pretty cool effect, though. I like that. Look at that. Ooh. It looks like warped glass, you know? Like what you would see on an actual <laughs> thing. All right, let me just uh, do a little thing here. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and do this one-handed because this is how you're supposed to do it. All right, let me just uh, load this up. All right, hopefully that's loaded. Well, basically, you know, it's a bit like this, right? I don't know if you can see the pistol all over there, but but since this is VR, I can just phase my arm through the shield here <laughs> and just put it in front. But yeah, there's a, there is glass there. Oh, goodness. The, the uh, particle, the muzzle flash particle effects still go through the shield, though, so... Whoops. Got my gun. I want to do that. I'm going to test this. Man, it's hard holding the uh, Vive controller like this. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. It does protect. Okay. Let's do a little reload there. Oh, great. Oh. Can we clean this off? No? Uh, that... In hindsight, that was a pretty bad idea. Now I can't see through the shield. <laughs> I got this big spot in front of it. Wish we could have like some Windex or a rag or something. Clean that off. Right, let me just put this here. Let me spawn a uh, couple of sausages here. We'll just do this. There's a better way to spawn things now, but I will do that in a minute. Oh, actually, yeah, I should... Uh wonder if I... Oh, wait, they don't have any weapons. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, wait, there's some weapons over there. I gotta prevent them from getting it. Can you shield bash? That's what, that's what I want to know. Oh, yeah, disable this. Actually, you know what? Just clear all the saucings. All right. Spawn five. And I'm gonna go and... Uh, just, whoa. Shield bash. Oh, it'd be cool if you could cut them, you know, using the edge of the shield, decapitate them. <laughs> That's a bad idea. like it like this. <laughs> I gotta get used to using a shield, so I might try to do some taking hold later with just the shield and a pistol, but uh... I need to stick a laser on this thing. Alright, I think that's all of them. That's cool. Shield. You get a shield now. Which, I like I uh, checked earlier, it's in the item spawner. So, again, I'm going to try that with a little take and hold later on. Let me put this in this. No? I guess that's not there yet. <laughs> Alright, so let's get to the bangers. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since he showed off the bangers. But, uh... Yeah, I think you're just supposed to put ingredients into the little safe here. And then that's the container. We need some explosives. Let's try a grenade here. Stick that grenade. And uh, we need a see, remote, remote detonation. All right. 
We'll make some remote mines here. I don't know what the scopes do, but uh, yeah. And uh, you can actually. Oh, I threw it away. Yeah. Well, you can actually put guns in there. So uh, that's going to be kind of interesting. I don't know what this does. This I think this is like to make it sticky, right? Stick one of those in there. And maybe uh, some smoke or whatever, flash. Just put this in. I'll have to play around with this uh, not while not recording so I can get a better... Uh, or look up the uh, recipes online. But, uh... Okay. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, it's bouncy. Okay, so this is uh, boom, boom, boom. Because I put three grenades in there. Bounces. Bouncies. And sticky. I don't know how it's going to be sticky when it's bouncy, but uh, I grab the radio detonator here. And let's turn this baby on. And oh, just make sure my space is clear. I don't want to throw anything and hit the wall. Oh, oh it's stuck. <laughs> can you pick it back up? That's the question. Oh, you can. Nice, nice. Oh, it bounces. It's bouncing. Hmm. Oh, it's stuck to the wall. I didn't see that. Okay. All right. Well, let's try that again. I need to put that there. <clears throat> let's try something else. Let's try something smaller here. One of these small cans. Oh, it didn't uh, take my flash. Okay. Well, I think... Well, let me just do a little experiment. I'm going to try to do the... Uh, this is, might be flash uh, or smoke. I'm not too sure. Uh, but this is explosive, so I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, let's just do that right now. Okay, small. This is boom. Oh, so it is explosive and uh, I guess it's got these uh, smoke bombs on there. Right. Good stuff. That might be an imp oh actually I think this might be impact. It's like an impact grenade kind of thing. That's not like smoke or anything like that. I don't think that's in the game yet. But this is time this is remote. This is timer. Because this is an egg timer. And this is might be proximity, since it's a fish finder. Uses like radar or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's try something else. Let's go with the uh, medium can here. I'm going to do a timer. And, uh, oh no, that's impact. I can't use that. Yeah, maybe that's why it didn't work last time, because I guess the uh, remote overrided the uh, impact. Because that would be weird, right? You want to detonate it remotely, but anything, it, anything that hits it will make it blow up so it's a timer get some grenades in there okay this is sticky all right i think that's sticky this is just uh, more explosives i don't know what this is we'll have to try that out the scopes long range <laughs> all right so this is a timer yep it's got a little timer on it this is Boom, 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 because I put four grenades in there. Got a timer. We can set it to whatever, about 60 seconds. I don't think this is minutes. <laughs> An hour long timer for a grenade. Is it minutes? No, it, it can't be minutes. Let's just try five. It's, it w probably would be five seconds. But we really don't know. Yeah, it's five. Yeah, it's five. It's seconds. It's seconds. All right. That'd be really weird, though, because these are usually minute. Oh, you can't turn it right there. So that'd be five minutes right there. <laughs> so that's seconds. All right. Oh, also, uh, I want to try the fish finder. Okay, that is spawn lockable. Thank goodness. And let's try something big. 
Uh, let's see. I want it to be sticky, and since a proximity, so I'm gonna stick one of these babies in there. A couple of grenades, maybe a magazine or two, and I. Well, I want to do that without any of the other stuff, so let's just do a couple more grenades here. All right, let's try to shove this thing in, make sure it doesn't go crazy on us there. Oh, that's not right. Oh, I don't have a... Um... <laughs> I forgot about that. I was like, it's giving me an error. Ah. Oh. Gotta stick that there. There we go. There we go. That's what we need. Sharp bits. Sharp bits. Boom, 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 boom. Sticky. Boom, boom. All right. So I think the sharp bits were from the... Uh, might have been the the shotgun rounds here. But uh, So this is a sticky mine. Proximity mine. Just gonna, you know... Huh. It's not sticking. Should I throw it harder? No. It's just sticky on it. Hmm. I actually don't know how to work this one. Okay. That's kind of weird. Usually it'd be sticky. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. All right. Well, that's okay. This is all alpha. It's not uh, solid yet, but I actually just want to try something. Uh, you know what? Let me reset the uh, scene here. So I can get more stuff. <laughs> all right. We're just going to do something basic. We're going to stick one of these. I don't know what this does. And uh, again, we need some explosives. Oh, right there. Stick a lot of boom on there. Put that boom. No, oh, come on. Oh no, my boom. Okay, this should work, hopefully. Okay, we need a mechanism to detonate. Uh, guess we'll do remote. Gotta go fast. Hmm. So is that what the scope does? Okay. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Alright. Well, that's as good as we can get. Let me get the <laughs> detonator here. I believe forgot about that. Wow. Alright. So it depends on how much uh, boom you put into it. So I put a lot of boom there, so it went, you know, boom several times. So if you just put one, it'll still do a boom. Well, I don't know. You know, there's going to be a lot of discussion on what recipes are out there. Uh, what does this do? Hollow sight. And I do need a detonation mechanism. So that's what you need. You need a container. Uh, way for it to detonate, which is either, uh, you know, with a re remote remote control, a timer, or proximity. And uh, you can have various different accessories. So, yeah, that's, that's all you need. Three things. It bounces. Okay, so the hollow sights make it bounce. Okay, good to know. <laughs> it's like a bouncing Betty. <laughs> oh man, this is cool. All right. So yeah, I guess I don't know. Well, the scopes they gotta go fast, so that's something. All right, let me just try one more time with this proximity. You want it to be sticky. You want it to detonate 
when there's an enemy nearby and you want some sort of explosive. Do three booms. Well, that's impact, right? Well, we'll try it out. Hold on, later. We'll try it out later. Okay, this one, yeah, three booms and sticky. So it's a sticky bomb that is proximity. There we go. And let's spawn a Salsig using the new Salsig spawn tool. Let's go with just simple shot dog here. All. Ammo all. Oh, wander. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Stick that there. Can we, uh... I'm just gonna drag you. Oh! Alright, so the uh, proximity explosives work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. So I think, well, there, there are four methods of activation. One is the remote, one is the timer, the second one's the timer, the third one is the proximity, and this is impact. I, I'm guaranteeing you this is impact. Let's just do that, try that out right now. We'll do a lot of booms on this one. It's going to be really bad because I'm going to die, but... Uh, Alright, so just an impact grenade. Close that up. There we go, see? Alright. There's going to be a lot of boom on this one. Spawn some sausages here. Alright, I'm going to try to make it over there. If I die, remember me. <gasps> oh yeah, that's nice. That is great. I love this system already. <laughs> oh, so you can only have, like, I think four booms. I put a lot of those in there. Um, let's see, Get some of these smaller ones too, a little timer on them, and I think I'll just do like one, two, three, four. Oh, oh, okay, I know, I remember, because Anton said something about, um, however big the container is, is like you can add more stuff to it, so I guess with the uh, small cans here that I used... Uh, these medium cans, I could only do a certain amount of booms, or grenades. <laughs> With the big ones, I think you can, uh, as long as you fill them up, you can put as much as you want. But this small can right here is only probably going to hold one. Let me just get rid of some of these grenades here. That's a timer. Oh, it is a timer. I might do a sticky. It's a sticky grenade with a timer, so... You know, let's set it. Ten seconds. <laughs> I love that. Just throw it on him. Ten seconds. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, I'm gonna die. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. But if you don't have the timer, will it still work, right? Oh, I don't have any more rails. Okay, hold on. I need to spawn some rails here. There we go. Spawn this one for sticky. I want sticky, sticky bombs. But if you don't add a timer or anything else, will that still work? Nope, you do need to add something. Hmm. Impact would be really bad. Oh, uh, actually... Let's do a remote mine here. There we go. You know, you'd be like sneaking up behind a guy. It's like Metal Gear Solid, you know? And then you pull out your detonator. Nice. I like it. Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to play around with this in uh, Rot Wieners. All right, so uh, let's just do a big one to uh, kind of uh, stop this uh, 
part of the uh, video out. I'm still going to play around with the uh, sausage spawner before I go, but let's just add... Actually, yeah, no, we can put it like that. Add this. Uh, what else can I do? Oh, we're going to add some of this. Oh, come on. Actually, did I not spawn this? I'm going to this there. There we go. Oh, man. That's going to have a hard time fitting into there. Just going to do two of those. A couple more. Okay, let's uh, shove this in. Oh, uh, no, no, don't escape. Get in there. Get inside there. <laughs> shove this as many grenades as possible. Let's just stick that in there. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Make grenades as we can. This is gonna have big boom, lots of booms. We're gonna make booms. It's gonna be booms. All right, stick that there. Try to fit as many grenades into this thing as possible. I know somebody else is gonna probably beat me with how many uh, grenades you can put in here, but I'm just gonna try it. Not gonna do too much. Stick that there. <laughs> Stack these grenades on top of each other. Let's put a couple there. I see a lot of empty spaces back there. Oh, this is going to be so fun. And like I said, somebody else could probably do more than this. And plus there's other things that you can stick in here. As long as it can fit inside this uh, container, it could probably be used as an ingredient for uh, explosives. So let me just... Uh, Oh man, that's a lot of boom with some sharp bits. It's also sticky. Uh, I think it is. Did I put it in there? Hopefully. All right. Well, we'll see. Let's just stick it onto this uh, nude sausage over here. Sneak up behind him. Oh. Oh, I don't think it. Uh, I don't think it got the sticky down. So I'm just gonna place it right next to you there, buddy. Oh, this is going to be a loud boom. Sit over here and watch. <laughs> That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, man. So good. Well, yeah, I think that's about uh, it for the... the uh, explosives. A little demonstration there. I'm not done yet, but... Uh, uh, I'll leave it to other people to, uh, mess around with this, because there is, I mean, there is a ton of stuff. So, you know, I don't know what kind of, uh, 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 whatchamacallit, attachments will work with that, but, uh, you know, there'll be probably be a video out there. Somebody will make one testing out all of the stuff. All uh, right, so, before we go... I just want to test out this uh, sausage spawner here. Clear, out, clear all these sausages. Ooh, no information about this uh, other than the um, what you call it, a devlog video and maybe a Twitch stream where it was playing around with this. So I'm gonna to try to remember what any of this stuff means. All right, so we got a group and spawn different themed sausages, shot dogs, merc wieners, rot wieners, which uh are kind of empty right now because he's working on them. Classification squad. We've got some gladiators. We saw a couple of those last time. Uh, meat fortress. Civilians. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, it's so cold in my room now. <laughs> I turned on the air conditioning. All right, so... Let's spawn some civilians here. Got me a rifle. Mr. Rifle there. Got a shotgun, dude. SMG. Pistol. You're all on IFF1. That's Team 1. Identify friend or foe. So on Team 2, uh, we can have uh, Merc Wieners. And let's spawn them. You know, I should have spawned them... Folk with weird machines on their face. All right, you know what? 
Oh wait, I can't clear these guys. Oh, well. Well, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> okay. So, these guys are gonna be guarding. And I'm gonna spawn a rifle wiener. Scout. Officer. Oh no, they're fighting, they're attacking. Oh, the civilians are getting, they're getting murked. Oh, wait, nope. Seems like we got one left. Oh, they're calling for backup. <laughs> oh, they're out of ammo. That civilian's out of ammo. But I think they're both out of ammo. Oh, this is going to be bad. All right, well... Spawn activated, I mean, I don't exactly know what that means. Oh, okay, spawn activated, okay. So yeah, that makes them not move around and stuff. Okay, I get it now. Because if you spawn them activated, they'll start walking around, yeah, see? So let's turn that part off. Commands, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is going to be, uh... wow, this is going to be some fun stuff here. Guard point. Okay. Uh, how do you not aim it at the Sausage anymore? Huh. Delete all. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do oh I did mean to do that, but I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> okay, um Spawn activated no. Okay. Now we can set up some epic battles here. Uh Maybe, uh, you know, got a rifle wiener here. Uh, oh, I set him on guard. Got ourselves a sniper in the back. Got a heavy in the front. And, uh, shield also here. Like I said, you know, there's a little window there that you can shoot through. All right, and then we'll have some, uh, civilians. They are going to assault. <laughs> and uh, let's see, you got, you know, a couple pistols. Uh, two submachine guns. Maybe a rifle guy. Oh, wait, they're on the same IFF. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Let's select. Can I select multiple? Oh, well, uh, they're on two, okay? Two. Uh. Huh. Set behavior to assault. Select. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh. Hmm. Oh wow, this is all complicated stuff here. I'm gonna take a take a day to uh, at least get an understanding on how to use this. I'll just delete all. Okay, so IFF two. I'm gonna spawn some uh, some dudes here. Couple pistols. SMG guy. Shotgun. Rifle. Okay, IFF one. I'm gonna go back over here. Go to the Merc Wieners. You know, a little pl platoon of rifle wieners. And then we got the uh, sniper in the back, a little breacher in the front. I think that's enough. They're they're sufficiently armored. Oh wait. I think they're on different IFFs. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll just see. Again, I'm going to have to play around with this. Have it all. Huh? Check this out. Hmm. Right here. Did I set them to different IFFs? That would be really weird if I didn't. Hmm? I thought I did. 
Oh, you can add sausage to selection. Oh, okay. Well, let's just do this. And select multiple sausages. And then set them to salt. Uh, and then Uh, there we go. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know how to use this thing, so please excuse my, uh, <laughs> my, uh, confusion here. On team, hmm. oh, there we go. That's what you're supposed to do. Oops, how do you turn this? Uh, well, they're dead. Let's check this out. He's like, That's the one, okay. Well, I kind of missed that, but oh man, I need to, I need some time with this. Practice this, because this is complex. Well, that. Let me just select. Uh... Come on, where are you? There you go. Can I select you? There we go. Where's the other guy? He's here somewhere. There you are. This thing needs like a laser dot, you know. That. Okay. So yeah, if you set the IFF to 3, you have to push this button. So if, like, say you want to uh, select this guy and set him to IFF 1... There you go, now they start fighting. <laughs> he dies immediately. Oh wow, this is pretty cool, okay. Let's just select these two and... Uh, let's see... Random, huh? and then oh, that is. see now they're gonna fight. Oh, huh? goody! <laughs> they ran out of ammo, so now they're just using melee weapons. It's one on one on one. <laughs> Flank and right. Quick, let's all aim like idiots. Don't burn it. Come on, where's the other guy? You're gonna need a wagon when I'm done with you. Explode selection. All right, that works. All right, well, this is going to take some time to uh, to mess around with. I'm going to have to uh, learn this thing because this is pretty cool. Very powerful tool. Uh, it was a dev tool, but Anton's letting us use it, so that's pretty cool. Let me just clear all these up. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. But yeah, so that's the update for today. Oh, I didn't even talk about the, uh, the Sasa guns, right? Just a little quick rundown. These are for Rise of the Rot Wieners. Some of the... Uh, some of the factions, there's, there's added factions, ones like a, like a paramilitary kind of group, whatever, you know, they, they use like old uh, World War II style weapons. So you got like a 1911 here, and this is like a, um, I actually don't know what this is. Maybe like a Browning or something, I don't know. And then, you know, like I said, you got like a, Carbine thing, little BAR. Ooh, it's a Tommy gun. <laughs> this is a uh, M1 Garand. Kind of a saucerized version. Little, uh, what is this, like, um, trench gun and uh, of course you've got your some people will say this looks like a 
Maxim, but I think it's more of like a browning um, machine gun. Got the nice little water cooler on the uh, front there. Pretty cool. And then you've got like this like um, scrounged up weapons from like the old west kind of thing group going on. Little Gatling gun. Cool stuff. What is this? Oh, it's like a flintlock kind of a trap door thing. Pistol. Or a rifle, sorry. It's only one shot. <laughs> got our uh, lever action. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, it actually, yeah, I, li I like that. So when it's empty, the, the, the lever just like sits like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is a, uh, yeah, it's a shotgun. Lever action shotgun. Empty. Okay. Brake, uh, brake barrel. Sawn off. Cool. Little, uh, <laughs> revolver. This is probably, uh, yeah, it looks like it's a brake action. Little, like a single action army revolver. And uh, a Derringer. <laughs> Look at that. And we get two shots. Well, yeah. So that's the update. There's a lot of stuff here. I gotta really uh, explore this. Uh, but for right now, I think the video is going a little too long. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Let me just try to find my computer here and stop the recording.